questions and not have to like you know um, yeah have anyone like sit there like oh my god it's just so long so, um, yeah so i'm gonna be answering oh my god welcome want to say welcome to all the new subscribers i hope y'all stay a while i hope that you love it here um yeah i hope you love it here uh yeah welcome 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 welcome, welcome. So my faith decided it wanted to show the fuck out today. You see this? Crazy, but that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it is what it is. Okay. So first question. We're gonna get right to it. It's gonna be mad chill. We're gonna have a good time. Okay. What is one of your favorite memories? And they like tongue tongue. one Christmas when I was like what eight or ten years old and basically my dad went all out and invited us everything we wanted my sister and I the tr under the tree was very very full everyone was home um, everyone you know was just you know all good vibes um, which was not always the norm well, mostly not the norm um, everyone was getting along we got, uh, I got this big old um, dollhouse with like, you could like cook in there. Like, you know, have a, a fake stove. It was like a really mini stove. You could like, you know, put something, like you could put like water, like ice water, like in like the little oven and it could like cook it, kind of. But yeah, that was my, one of my favorite memories that Christmas. Okay. Do you have tattoos? And if not, do you want any tongue clicking and skin cra skin scratching slash rubbing? Are they favorite triggers? And do I have any tattoos? tattoos, tattoos? I have. I do. Oh, let me see right here. But I have this one, which says, um, "This is not a very good tattoo, honestly." Mm. But I mean, you get what you pay for. We were in a rush for some reason because we wanted to just get it. We wanted to just get it done, so we were in a rush to just get it, get, it, get, it, get, it, get it out the way. But it says we are one soul and two bodies with like three hearts, you know, fingers crossed, and my best friend's initials. I got up my best friend. I am that clear. Um, and QR is her initials. We got those together, matching tattoos. We've been best friends six, six, since sixth grade. Um, and two of my best friends, two of my best, 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 best friends, no, why well, this one than my sisters. Um, we've been best friends since sixth grade, and yeah. And then the third one, um, I met her in high school, and yeah, we just, you know. And I have my best friends in college, but those two, like all three of my sisters, been honestly. And then I have one like right here. Oh. And this is a crescent moon with trees. And I got that one as a matching tattoo with my sister. And then I have my half sleeve here. I don't think you'll be able to see that, but. Basically, it's a woman. It's basically a woman. Yeah. Um. Um. A 
like a black woman, Afro. She's a, her legs crossed, and she's like a garden around her. She's like enclosed by a garden. And there's words at the top and bottom that says, um, when push comes to shove, I pray you choose you love. And basically, I thought that one day, and basically it was just more so like um, putting myself first in situations where, you know, I know that, you know, the outcome can be detrimental. So just like making sure that in the end, you're good, you know, and you, you're making sure you're doing what's best for you and not what's best for anyone else. So yeah, that is that tattoo in my half sleeve. I think I want to, like, you know, cover up the space here, but we'll see. Um, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is a movie called Beasts of the Southern Wild. Um, without giving too much away, it's about, I, I, I think, post, um, um, Katrina. So, I believe it's supposed to be set post Katrina and um yeah basically Louisiana um most of it in the movie has gone underwater and there's a piece of land that is still like you know you know hanging on and it, but it's, it's far away from the mainland and there are people um the people there um, it's called the, the land and they call it the bath the bathtub and the people there are like um, they have their own their own holidays they have their own like basically government but they don't really have a government but they, they live very free in the land they have their own um, they have their own like um, schooling like they just do things their own way and it's focused on a little girl 
astrology at all. As a matter of fact, this is not towards you at all. I appreciate you asking the question, of course. But I mean, this is for people who meet me in person. And the first thing they ask, what's your sign? Are you serious? Before we even have the conversation, can you, can you not? I can't stand that question, child. In person, like when someone first meets me. I'm not you asking the question, okay? your occupation other than YouTube so I think I've answered this before but I'm not sure but anyway it doesn't matter regardless of what I said but um my occupation basically what I do is I work overnight at a home for people with disabilities and um I do that full time with like you know people who need a little bit of extra help you know that's my that's what I do um, I don't know if you guys heard that I'm not sure why I said that I hope I said that clearly um let me repeat myself because I didn't say it clearly <laughs> um I work overnight um at a home for people with disabilities so I make sure they're good and my face it looks crazy anyway um and then um I work as a ABA therapist for children on the spectrum. Okay. Alright, so when did you find ASMR? What made you want to become a creator? So, this is going to be a long story short. Basically, um, this was a little bit before my birthday, about like two months before my birthday, I see a nail tapping video. I don't know what compelled me to look it up because I never do that. I looked up like, ooh, let, let me look up nail tapping. That sounds nice. So I looked up like nail tapping and then I ASMR was the first person that I've ever seen. And I was obsessed with her. But at first I didn't even know I was supposed to um, feel with anything. I didn't know those, you know. And then I was seeing the comments, oh, this is so tingly. I'm like, what does that mean? So then I looked it up and realized you're supposed to get like a, you know, an actual like physical response, you know, well, from the videos. So I rewatched them again with that in mind and then I got tingles. And then um, I went on to other ASMR, I tried to ASMR, and you know, all the major ones, TV ASMR, Raffi Daffy ASMR, and Jojo ASMR. And eventually I ended up at tiptoe, 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 tiptoe. So, 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 so. I ended up at um Tiptoe Dingle's um page and I was obsessed. And then I loved her video so much. I would always watch her one hour worth of hand sounds video every single day. Like it was crazy for months. So for weeks, no, no, for months. Um, so yeah, so I was just like, now I want to do this. So she encouraged me to like start ASMR. Tiptoe, 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 And then I was just practicing hand sounds in random places. I was telling my friend I want to ASMR channel, I want to ASMR channel. And my hardest thing was trying to figure out how to do tongue clicking. But obviously you can't. I was trying like a fucking like, tired. Like, you know, people's mouths like what y'all doing in there and also like you know how we usually snap like with two fingers well i thought like it was all my like touch all my fingers so it could like sound like you know but yeah they told think was the reason why i started asmr i thought it was really cool i bought myself a mic for my birthday and yeah just went for it and then here i am 
What is your biggest dream? Dream, dream. What a cute question. Uh, oh, honestly, I never thought about this. I don't know. 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 Even the last time I filmed this, I had a hard time, you know, trying to figure out what my biggest dream was. But I'm gonna go ahead and say my biggest dream. Sorry, my biggest worst twice, twice, twice. My biggest dream would be probably to just like maybe impact a life or two like i just want to help people 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 that's really like anytime i do a job it's always like whoa anytime i do a job that's Anytime I do a job, <laughs> that's kind of what I lean towards, just like helping people and stuff like that. My dream job, dream job, dream job, is something called a PCBA, which is the supervisor role. I'm not sure if that's the word or not, but the supervisor's position of what I'm doing now um, for the ABA job. Um, and it's called, that's a board certified behavioral assistant. And basically, it's creating the plans for the kids. The kids. And that's really what I'm gonna do. Um, but yeah, my dream, my like, you know, my biggest dream. I have no idea, bro. That's gonna be, you know, something that I have to think about. But honestly, whatever God leads me to do, I'm down. <laughs> you know, like, what makes you proud? To see my growth, my growth. See my growth for sure makes me really, really proud. To see like, you know. How we react, react to situations. Um, yeah, how I react to certain things. Um, you know, I don't let things get to me as much as I used to. So, that's always something to be proud of. I'm really proud of that. Oh, that was a water bottle, my bad. See my growth makes me very proud. When did you start doing ASMR? I started doing ASMR in May. I started, started, started. I started doing ASMR in May um, of 2021. Do you like New Year's resolutions? What's yours? 2022. My New Year's resolution is for me to take care of myself. I do not take care of myself. Um, and I and health wise, um, like mentally, physically, I need to go to the gym more often. I need to eat better. Um, sleep. Sleep is a major thing for me. I need to sleep better, for sure. So yeah. Um. And that is my New Year's resolution to take care of myself. Um, what is your favorite K-pop song? In which Asian country do you want to go with family and friends? Who inspired you to do ASMR? Top three ASMR artists. Top three favorite triggers. Okay. Um, I don't remember even talking about me liking K-pop. Maybe I did. I don't know. I was looking at this question like, hmm, that's that's an interesting assumption. <laughs> Maybe I did, cause I do like K-pop. <laughs> um, I don't really, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really listen to it down. I used to when I was younger. But I'm gonna put it when I was younger, I used to listen to um, K-pop a lot. Um, so yeah, my top, my favorite K-pop song is not really.
Honestly speaking, like this is so hard. It's so hard. <laughs> it is hard to softly speak because you gotta engage. Like, how am I gonna sound the mic? Like, like I don't know. does it feel weird when you start speaking your normal voice straight after filming? Not really. You get used to it. If not, nothing happens. But at this point, it's, it's regular. He said I talk really loud, so I. I'm not gonna lie. I talk hard, but you know, I'm, I'm the person who does not whisper for nothing in actual like co life conversations. Like, I can't whisper for anything. So, I think it's just too much work. Whispering is so much work sometimes. It's just like, alright, like, if we have to whisper about the we probably shouldn't be talking about it in the first place. At this point, I'm a new subscriber. I love you. Never stop making videos. I love you too. Thank you so much. If you could learn any other language, what would you want to learn and why? If I could learn any language, I would most likely be Spanish. I feel like that'd be so useful when getting a job. There are so many people in this country, obviously, who speak Spanish. Isn't that like the, the second biggest language? Yeah, I think. I don't know, yeah. But I feel like it should be mandatory. I feel like how English is mandatory in other countries, Spanish should be mandatory here. I have this, um, Spanish or Mandarin or Mandarin, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mandarin or something like that. I said Mandarin. No, but I feel like those are two really, really major um, languages in this country. What do you do for a job? Answer that. How old are you? Um, you want hand movements, hand movements, hand movements. How old am I? How old am I? Y'all, this the camera's always falling. This phone. Jeez. How old am I? I am 24. I am 24. I'm turning 25 in May, next May of 2022, May 2nd is my birthday. Um, what do you do for a job? You're so pretty, I love your videos. Thank you so, 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 Thank you so much. How do you find happiness? Well, how to find... This is where my video cut off last time. How to find happiness. And you like blowing into the mic. Like, turn this down. So that sounds crazy. How to find happiness? Honestly, I wish I had a definite answer for you. I have no clue, but it's something I am fighting for every single day. Um, you know, like when you make ASMR videos, it's like you know, it's easy to you know smile for like you know some minutes. You know what I'm saying? And I love making videos. I love you know, it makes me happy. So, of course, I'll be happy about making videos, but, like, outside of this, like, I'll be fine for my life. <laughs> Let me stop. But, like, honestly, it's just, like, recently, like, I decided to give my life to God. I'm not perfect. I'm still struggling with, like, you know, having 100% trust. And if you're not a person who, you know, is religious, then, you know, yeah, you know, um, this obviously, like, won't apply. But, like, even, like, you know finding something to believe in whether it be like relationships family you know what i mean i feel like that that would make a person happier like just finding a purpose like what what like what is areas in your life that you see like oh my god you know what 
I'm like not like a bad person. Like you know, like you know how there's like maybe like when you help your mom or maybe you do something specific that like helps other people. I feel like that's the whole point. Like we're so caught up in being independent and being like on our own, da da da. That we forget like we're here with other people and it's for a reason. And if you don't believe like in a higher power, like or if you wanna say you wanna you believe in the universe, we are we are and put together to be alone that's not how life should work and yeah that's not how life should work and i feel like we should um um definitely find ways we can help other people and i feel like seeing other people happy and seeing that we have that power to like you know potentially make other people happy is such a great feeling like you can't go through life being selfish and thinking about yourself all the time. Like, what kind of life is that to live? Like, being a different person and doing the bare minimum. <laughs> um, and you know what? This is gonna sound a little bit harsh, but at the end of the day, like, like I said, it's the bare minimum. Being a decent person, that she should be a decent person. Like, but like, do you ever go out your way? You know, to like try and help someone else to try to like and of course like a focus on okay i'm not really answering the question because like it's the find self-happiness but i feel like for me helping other people and like um makes me happy you know um so i feel like and i don't want to say find your happiness in some in someone else um obviously when it comes to you do things that you want to do do things that make you happy um find a hobby um that makes you happy that's not if you have you know you have the money for it find something free share right um make an asmr video you have a phone you can easily make one um yeah make you a little song or whatever i don't know write poetry write a short story um there's so much you could do like you know like make a blog like you know, take yourself out to a restaurant on a date. Take yourself out. You know, if you work a lot, make sure you go to the spa. Like, just make sure you do things that you can decompress, you know, and you can find, like, just, to, like, help you relax and stuff like that. Like, honestly, life is too short to be stressing and stuff like that. So, how to find happiness? Just do the fuck you want to do. As long as not the, at the expense of other people, you're not harming other people. Do what you gotta do, honestly. And that's that's what I say. How to find happiness, and also like always consistently, and constantly. I've been talking, not doing anything. Um, always try to work on yourself because a lot of times we're not happy because shit needs to be worked on sometimes internally we got some internal turmoil that I hate to break it to you but you can gotta start working on that shit so um once you start doing that and then you know focus on yourself and being a better person honestly life's gonna feel a lot better and i think for me like the way i found happiness like where i've been life has been so peaceful you know what i mean um these past few months because i decided to like go on this walk with God, and that's been it for me, honestly. Um, but with that comes certain things that is definitely necessary um, in general life, not even if you're religious. Like the things that we that that's required to become Christian. People say they're Christian, but they're not, which is why people. Um, who aren't like you know religious be like y'all Christians always the ones to say we all high and mighty and righteous and y'all will never practice what you preach just because they're not actual Christians like the Bible is very clear as to how Christians should, should act um, and if they don't do those things they can't say they're Christian because you're not living the life that you're supposed to live that's what it is and that's um, a lot of people <laughs> so it's crazy but I answered your question. If not, I apologize. <laughs> um, 
and you do so much for the viewers what does Eb do for Eb? writing sounds mouth sounds What does F do for F? Honestly, that's a good question. I know Steph, I know this is probably your question, Steph, because she always asks that. to do for Ab. There's plenty of things that I need to do for myself that I don't do for myself. Um, you know, I try to like, you know, maybe take myself out on dinner dates, make sure I'm constantly like reading my Bible. Little things like that help me a lot, okay, with my happiness. I make sure I see my friends. Um, I try to go to the gym sometimes, you know. Just like basic like self-care things. Um, I can definitely do so much better, so much better with the self care. But yeah, I try to like get my nails done, my feet done, or like a little, do a little splurge or whatever. Honestly, I'm not a person who needs too much. I just want money like everybody else. There's not much as I want to do for myself, honestly. Like, like I said, like I'm a pretty, like I'm, a, I'm high maintenance but low maintenance at the same time. Like, whatever I want to do, I just do. Like, if I want to get my nails done, I do it. If I want to get go somewhere, I'm just gonna go. So I don't know how I'm really gonna restrict myself too much, which is a problem. So, um, yeah. So I, I basically do things, everything that I want to do, which is not really anything drastic, honestly. Do you believe in God? Yes, I do, I do. And they want me to do a camera, 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 tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it. Do you believe in God? Do you believe in God, 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 God? I do 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%. Um, yes. Do you believe in God? Yes, 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 you are. Are you the oldest? I do have siblings. I have how many siblings? Do I have? I have three other siblings. Three other siblings. I have three of nail tapping on wine glass. Specific. I have a perfume bottle. They want an empty wine glass. a water bottle but yes um i do have siblings i have three other siblings i'm not the um oldest i'm the middle child i lied i have four other siblings wow i have two older sisters who are about 10 years older than me um i have a younger sister who's two years younger than me and I have a brother who is 13, 14, my god, he's 14, um, and I'm 24, so I don't know what, yeah, that's the math there. Uh, what has been your favorite holiday? The nail tapping on phone camera, 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 camera. My favorite holiday? Christmas. Hands down. I love, 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 love. I love Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. I love Christmas. Um, 
favorite month of the year and why? December, because of Christmas. Heike, it's also because the ending of one year and like, you know, the transition into a new one. So December is my favorite month. What are your hobbies? I write sometimes. I'm trying to get back into like I used to do spoken word poetry. I'm trying to get back into spoken word poetry. So, um, yeah, I don't really do too much outside of, um, honestly, I'm never passionate enough about anything to stick to it. I always pick, pick things up and put them down. So, I never stick to anything. So, my favorite hobby, obviously, you know, making any smart videos. But also, I like to write sometimes. So, those are my favorite hobbies. What was your favorite year of high school? Oh, my favorite year. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Might have been junior year. Junior year, I was in the speech and debate team. But not doing debate, I was doing the speech portion. Which was basically from competitive acting. <sighs> competitive acting. And I was like doing really well at it really really well that year so definitely oh I was a senior year I was doing really well I like junior year better um, junior year um, and then that was just a good year overall like yeah that was a good year junior year oh you want invisible 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 scratch invisible scratch answer that favorite song I don't really have a favorite song is it one I'm listening to right now not really <laughs> what does your channel name mean my channel so I want to be like <laughs> so I had my a, a total thyroidectomy um, and that like fried my vocal cords even though the surgeon said that they were all intact I do not have my voice back um because I used to sing way better a lot better I wasn't professional but I was I, I could hold a note um and now I can't really do that so um I, I, my I was thinking of like a good my name is Ebony so I was thinking of a good like you know you know, a uh, so, uh, artist name. I wanted to be. I want. I said I was gonna make an EP album. Mhm. Mm I did. I was a very ambitious child. I said I'll make me an EP album, and I'ma, you know, do what I do. Mhm. Mm <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah. I was like, what's gonna sound cool? Like I said, I kind of want like an Erica Badu vibes, like poetry with music, and, you know. Nice and cool, smooth R and B, neo soul vibe, and yeah. Um, yes. So I was just like, okay. I feel like ebb and flow. Loki reminds me of poetry, like you know the ebb and flow things. That you know, I was like okay. And then I was like, how about ebb the flow? So I am the flow. Cause that made sense back when I was I wanted to be like a you know a little Erica Badu type of type of vibe anyway that's where I got my name from Ebb and Flow Ebb the Flow that's it and since my voice you know I literally right after I started like trying to like learn like you know I guess music in a way um Right after I had my surgery and my voice never came back, it's been a year now, voice is still not back. And I was like, you know what? It's gonna be my ASMR name. So there we have it.